Hi everyone and welcome to this very simple tutorial uh, about how to draw a human head and you know there's so many tutorials on the internet right now about how to draw a human head and everyone has their own method so I, what I'm going to show you today is pretty much how I like to do it, okay? Now, I might not, for my current drawings, I might not do all of these particular construction lines that I'm going to show you, but the thinking is behind, is behind each and every one of my drawings, okay? I'm always thinking like this, okay? That doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean that it will actually go and throw all these construction lines in. What it means is that this is exactly what I'm thinking about whenever I go into drawing a head. So I'm gonna show you how I construct the head and then I will show you how I render it. Okay, so whenever someone draws a head or whenever I see it, a lot of people, they, they go into drawing their head like this. Like they would go in, okay, and I'll try to draw this a little bit darker so you can see. So they will start with your oval, of course. They would have your construction line down the middle here, separating the head into halves. Halves here. They would have the line in the middle here, like this. Line in the middle here. And then line in between here, so that would be half. And then the mouth would be half again. And that's not wrong. That's not wrong. That is completely right um, in terms of proportions of the head. However, this is not how I think here, because the way this is laid out here, whenever I'm, someone draws like this, okay, not just saying, not saying that everyone, but some people, whenever I see them draw like this, uh, what happens is their drawing still feels flat to me whenever they're doing this. Why? Because when you're doing it like this, okay, when you're starting your drawing like this, you're going at it as if it is 2D. When the world we live in is actually 3D, okay? So let me show you what I mean when, I'm, when I talk about that. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Shaky, shaky. Okay. So instead of thinking of flat objects, instead of thinking circle of circles, I'm thinking more in spheres. Instead of thinking in lines, I'm thinking in cubes. Okay, so... Let, to make my point across, I'm going to do a head in more of a three-quarter turn. Okay, so what I do is I'll start out more with a circle. And you'll see a lot of people starting out with a circle, okay? But what's different about my circle? Okay, when I do the construction line here, I'm not going straight across like this. I'm going around. I'm going around this. I'm going around here like this. Okay? Well, it just looks like an oval within an oval. And then I'm going to go around like this, okay? You see what I'm doing here, okay? So I'll try to darken up my blue line so you could see it. I know it's hard to see the blue line. I just didn't get a chance to go to Curry's yet to get myself a darker pencil, okay? Because I know you guys have been saying that you can't see my blue pencil here. So I'll just darken up the line. So hopefully you can see that a little bit better, right? So I'm thinking now, as you can tell here, now I'm thinking a little bit more in 3D, correct? That's how I'm thinking now. I'm thinking about the surface of this sphere. That's what I'm thinking about here. Okay? And then from here, I'm going to go from this line here, and now I'm going to add a cube. Something like a cube that kind of hangs down from here like this. Okay? Like that. There you go. And now I'm going to think about going around here like this again. Okay? And again, I'm thinking around the surface here. Around the surface and around the surface again. Okay, so whenever you see me draw, you won't see me actually do most of this, like maybe I'll do it very, very loosely and roughly, but this is what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking more in 3D shapes as opposed to uh, like flat circles and squares. I'm thinking of cubes and spheres. That's how I'm thinking of. I think when I took uh, 3D animation, uh, back in 2006, that's what got me thinking about it. And then the neck, it's more of a cylinder, right? It would be more of a cylinder as opposed to like just like two lines going down. There's depth here, there's volume now. Okay, so that's how I'm thinking whenever I'm constructing all of my figures. Now, again, I might not be putting all these lines when I'm drawing, but this is exactly what I'm thinking of whenever I'm doing this, okay? So, with that, let's start actually constructing the face here. Okay, so 
Another reason why the lines are like this is because this is pretty much how the skull is shaped. So we have the big ball here in the back here. Okay, and then the thing hanging out here, that would be more the jaw area. Okay? Now, okay, right, okay, right. Now let's start getting into some details. Okay, let's start with the eyes. Okay, so maybe this is a little too high for the eyes. As we, I might uh, enlarge the circle a little bit more here. Okay. Now, now f at this point here, I'm going to start thinking in planes. Okay, you know the planes, surfaces of the head, here. So for example, we start off with the forehead. That's a plane. So I'm going to actually draw like a a little square here in perspective symbolizing the, let me just erase a little bit this middle line here, the forehead, okay? And then here we have another plane here that goes back in space. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm starting to construct this forehead here. And again, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to make everything feel three-dimensional, three-dimensional when we're doing this, okay? So I want this volume to feel like, if you could see my lines here, that is going around here. Because th isn't that what it would go down like this? Isn't this what the forehead would do? Okay? It would go out and around like that. Okay? Here we have the eye sockets. Okay? In your skull, you have these two holes here where your eyeballs would sit. Now, I'm just going to draw these lines here just so you understand where I'm going at here. So it's like kind of like I'm drawing a skeleton underneath. What I'm actually showing you again here is not what I actually draw on paper, it's what I'm thinking when I'm drawing, okay? Now there, and then we have the actual cheekbone here that usually goes down like this, and then I'm gonna let it go here like this. So this is, this is going to be a man, and a very strong man, like, like comic book style man here, okay? So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to actually show you what I, I'm thinking of. See, I'm drawing these dashed lines pretty much to have a feel of what the surface, the shape of the surface is, okay? And I'm just doing that for my sake, okay? When I actually render this, uh, you won't see any of these lines at all, okay? But, socket, like this line here, this is usually where the eyebrows would go. This is where the eyebrows would go. And then we know the eye would indent inside here. Okay, and then underneath here would be the teeth. All right, now, let's start with the nose. Okay, the way I like to do the nose, again, I am thinking, I am thinking in shapes here. And I'm, right now I am thinking of a, a shape kind of like that. Okay, kind of like a cone, a little bit of like a cone, because again, we are going in about an angle here. So I'm imagining, I'm going to throw in the lines here again like this. So I'm trying to understand, like the, sh the actual shape of this nose here. It goes like that, all right? So I'm going to start drawing the nostrils in here, the holes. Oops, a little lead break. And I'm going to start constructing this nose here. So, I'm going to hold here, so we'll go like this. And I'm going to go under here. We got we got what this nose, the shape of this nose will be. Okay. And because at this angle, you ask yourself, will we see the other nostril since his head is turned so much? I say, yeah, let's try that. Let's try to do that. Now, let me just erase this line here, just so I could feel what's going on here. Now with this nose, okay, so I'm going to erase some lines here just so I can feel what's going on here. Now with this nose, first of all, I'm going to add a line that goes like this. So I'm trying to feel, figure out underneath, what part of this nose will be underneath the other and what this shape will be like here. Okay, so now some comic artists will do something like this. They'll do like a, this sort of bracket style so that you could actually see 
the bridge of the nose here. Okay, so let's do that for now. Let's do that for now. Now, in terms of the eyes, okay, so let's go to the eyes. So first of all, this will be all eyebrow. You'll actually see me when I when I when I draw heads. For the most part, I'll always start with the eyes. The eyes are the windows to the soul, as they say. If the eyes look right, the rest of the drawing most likely falls into place. But for this exercise, let's draw the eyebrows in first, just because I already know where the eyebrow line is. So I'm gonna draw the eyebrows here like this. Okay. Now, let's figure out these eyes. Now we know I could go in and already start, you know, just drawing you know, regular eye. But what we have to keep in mind is the eyeball. It's a it's a sphere too. It's a sphere too. And they go inside the head. Right? And I get it guys, I'm apologizing for saying right and okay. I read your comments, I know. <laughs> and I'm doing my best here. Uh something I can't help, but I'll try to get better, okay I promise. Okay. But we know our eyes, there are these round spheres that go all the way around inside the head here. And then what the eye is, really, so we have your actual eye here. Ooh, it looks scary already. But what, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out the shape of this eye. And then I'm trying to figure out what the skin is doing on top of this eye here what these eyelids are doing on top of this eye here. So this lid is actually going around this eyeball, around here like this. And then we have some folds of skin that go underneath here like that. Okay, and this will all make sense once I actually render this, okay? Okay, now this eye here, you just run around this eye here like this. I'm actually inclined to bring out the bridge of his nose a little bit, a little bit more like that. Okay, now, you see how this, this cheekbone sticks out here? I would assume that this cheekbone would be sticking out a little bit more like this. Okay. Okay, so now we're, now we're constructing, now we're doing something here. Okay, so we have the forehead here. Sometimes the uh, above the eyebrow here, there's some mass up here like this. And then this would curve into it like that. Okay, good. Now, let's uh, concentrate on the upper lip now. So first of all, usually there's like this fold of skin that would be right beside the nose here. Just fold of skin here going like here and here. Okay, and now let's go ahead and then draw the upper lip. So usually, as you guys know, underneath the nose is usually this little slot here, like this, for your upper lip. Okay, so again, this now, this face now, okay, so this would go down here like this, and then this is up here like this, and then around like this, and then up again like this. So I'm trying to figure out the, the different planes here. So let's go ahead and start drawing in these lips. Okay, so we got the lips going here like that. Okay, and then usually the lips would fold in underneath like this and then come out for the chin. So I'm gonna actually mimic that. Here like this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and then draw the chin here. Should I give him a cleft chin? Why not? I'll give him a little cleft chin. They say here, okay? Okay, and now, okay, and then here is the jaw. We'll give him a strong superhero style chin. There, like that. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. And then when I render this, I'm going to show you some tricks to make it feel a little bit more realistic than it is. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually going to erase part of this line here. Okay, and I'm going to start erasing some of this red lines in there. Okay, now let's go ahead and draw the ears. Now ears takes practice. Ears does take practice. Okay. Now usually the ear, it depends on the person, depends on the person, but usually I find the ear, the top is the same height as the brow or the eye. Depends, depends on the person. And then the bottom of the ear will go down to where the no, bottom of the nose is, for the most part. Again, everyone's different, but for the most part, that's what we're looking at here. Okay. And now I'm trying to draw the little details of the ear. Okay. Now I completely forgot some of the names of <laughs> the anatomies, but at the same time, I know what they look like. Okay. So since we're going to make him muscular, okay, I'm going to actually uh, draw the neck pretty muscular here. So, gonna have, he's going to have like this nice Adam's apple here, and then we got the big veins here. Give him some nice thick traps here, like this. And then maybe I'll give him some sort of a crew cut. Yeah, won't give him a lot of hair. He feels more like an army guy to me. Feels like an army guy. Okay. So this is what I'm thinking of whenever I go ahead and start drawing faces. So now, whenever I, I ink something like this, first of all, like I always do, I have to decide to myself, where is this light source coming from? Is it going to be here? Is it going to be here? Is it going to be underneath? Okay, for this exercise, maybe, hmm, let's make the light go this way so we could light up some of this face, okay? So part of this face will be in darkness here, okay? So let's start off with some of the basic uh, features of him. And now that the structure is down, now that the structure is down, I'm going to actually go ahead with the ink. Okay, I'm going to go ahead with the ink. And always, when I go with the ink, I always, always, always usually start with the eye. Okay. So I'm going to go here. Okay, and again, this part here, that's skin. It's all skin. And it's interesting whenever you're working with humans, like draw, when you're trying to learn how to draw faces, guys, look at faces. Look at uh, actors' faces, or, you know, it's so easy nowadays to Google faces, you know. We have an unlimited resource here of reference, so take advantage of it. Okay, so right now I'm just drawing folds of skin. Here. Okay, and then usually we have this like little, little indentation here when it comes to the eyes. No. Get to draw a socket like that, and then draw at the bottom of the eye here like this. Very nice. And now I'm going to draw another line. It goes right underneath that. I'm not sure if you can see that. Maybe I'll zoom in a tiny bit. Let me zoom in. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing here. Let me zoom in here like that. Okay. The bottom there. So again, it depends on how detailed you want to go with this type of thing. If you want, you could even add like little lashes here. Which I will probably will do just a little bit. For girls, you could uh, add a little bit more lashes here, but uh, you know this is a very, very the way I drew them. 
this is a very masculine uh, man here, like very prominent, you know, strong features on here. So right now I am drawing underneath the eye, little folds of skin underneath the eye. Like this. Now, if I was drawing a girl, I wouldn't be drawing this line here. I would not. But since it's a guy, guy, you could get away with drawing a little bit more lines than you would a girl. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do actually draw the eyebrows. Now I'm gonna probably give this guy a little bit thicker eyebrows. I'm gonna give him some thick eyebrows, thick bushy eyebrows. Here we go. Okay, now as you notice here, I'm just kind of like outlining it. I'm thinking about taking the a thicker because right now I'm using a 0 0.5 just so we can get much details I can out of this. Okay, so maybe the details here I would do with 0.5, but the inside here I'll go back with either a Sharpie or 0.8 and just, you know, fill it in with, you know, and have some strokes going on there. Okay, so there you go. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and draw the eye here. So it's interesting. Uh, so what are we doing here? Before I had come looking forward. Now I'm probably going to have him looking a little bit more towards the camera. Here like this, okay. Or it looks like, oh, he's not really looking at the camera. But <laughs> okay. So uh, one, usually when it comes to eyes, okay, depending on what color they are and everything, like if they were pure black or are they like a, a color like a lighter color you would have highlights here so usually I would draw two of them I would draw two circles like that I would draw the middle of the eye here and I would fill that in and then I would do like this little hatching here now if I knew he was like for example if I knew this this what I'm drawing is like an Asian character I would just fill this in completely black But here, I'm just giving the option, I'm going to do that, there, like that. Okay, I might add a little bit more black here, but I'm going to finish the rest of the, of the head drawing first, okay. Now I'm going to draw a fold, here, like a furrow of the brow type thing, up here like this, and just going to add a little bit of hatching to emphasize the fold in the skin, here. Okay, now I'm going to do something that a lot of people actually don't do. I'm going to add a little bit of hatching in the eyes. A little bit of hatching. Goes long, just a little bit though. Like what do you add hatching in the eyes? Aren't eyes white? For the most part, yes. But eyes can also be in the shadow. So, just adding a little bit of hatching in the eyes just to give it a little bit of shape. Okay. That's okay. Now I'm going to go ahead to the other side here. Okay, and now I'm going to draw the other eye here. Okay, I'm not going to draw a circle here like that. Then same deal. Two circles here. Go ahead. around here like that and now I'm going to finish off the eyebrow here okay now I'm going to draw the nose now the nose right now feels too indented here so I'm actually going to take it with the ink I'm going to actually bring it out a little bit give him like a stronger nose here like that
and I'm gonna actually make like a little dimple in the nose here. I'm gonna try something different here. And then I'm gonna add one line here like this. Again, to really emphasize this bridge of the nose here like that, okay? Might be a little too much. Okay, so before I do anything else, let me add a little bit to the bottom of this eye here like this. Okay, and I will go ahead and then draw the side of his head here. All right, now, let's get to the nose. So first of all, I'm gonna go in here and then draw the side of the nostril here. Okay, now I'm gonna draw the actual nostril itself here. And then again, this is where style comes into play. Do you want the nostril to be angular? Do you want it to be not angular? You know? <laughs> so that's really up to you and your style, your particular style here. So I'm gonna go in like this. I'm going to go like this. Okay, now I'm going to draw underneath the nose, like that, and I'm thinking if I should draw the other nostril and what the hey, I'll do that, just slightly, because his head's turned here, just slightly draw the nostril, like that, there you go, that's the nostril there. Now, I'm going to quickly just do a quick line here for the side the lip there. Okay. And actually, I'm just going to go back here. Sometimes I go back and forth. I'm just going to draw the upper eye, you know, the upper eyelid there. Okay. And now I'm going to draw the side. that around like that okay okay now let's get to the lips let's get to the lips here I'm gonna start with where the lips touch together here like this we get a little bump here in the middle and down like that looks a little bit like he's smiling <laughs> so because you know the lips here this is like a fold in here when the lips touch so the corner of the mouth here so sometimes what I like to do I'll just add a few lines like that just to gradually bring that in now let's draw the upper lip here curve line like this go around so we'll do the same on this side here I'm going to draw the bottom part of the lip. Okay. Now let's draw this uh, indentation here. We're going like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to draw, put a line here for the bottom of the lip here, okay, and then I'm actually going to fade it out like that, and I'm going to go ahead and draw this nice strong chin here that he's got here, Okay. So I'm just adding a few lines here. Just so I know where the planes are. 
Okay, let me just zoom out a tiny bit. So you can see what I'm doing here. Now, let's finish off here. Now, you can draw his jaw, because he has a very, very strong jaw. I want him to have a strong jaw. And I want you to notice something here. Like, I could attach this, I could. But usually people have like a little fold of skin or a little bit of fat that goes under the chin, so I'll just leave that just for that sake. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead here and then draw it down. Be the neck area. And now let me just put some details with the ears, and then I'm gonna get out my Sharpie. And we're going to actually add some black to this, okay? Down like that. Cross here like this. So I'm gonna grab a sharpie right now. A sharpie. And now I'm gonna grab a sharpie. I'm gonna start filling in some of this detail here. So I'm gonna go into the eyebrows here and start adding some blacks to this eyebrow here. Okay, and now I'm going to start adding some blacks in certain areas here, okay? Now this is where confidence comes in, guys. Um, a lot of you might want to pencil this out first and make sure that you are confident with the way the light source looks before you go into ink. Uh, for me right now, I'm relying on experience. So I trust that what I'm doing here, like I've done it before, so it's either going to work or it's not going to work, <laughs> but we will find out, okay? So this is what I want to accomplish. Lighting's coming this way. Lighting is going this way. So I want to have that feel of a very strong light source on that side. So I'm gonna go here like this. Okay. Here like that. And then I'm actually gonna go in here like this. Okay, and then I'm going to accentuate the cheekbone on this side. At the same time, I'm leaving this space here. Why? Because that's what we call a rim light. Okay, so that's where a rim light should go. Then I'm going to go here like this. And here like this. So really, light is just pretty much right here on this side here. Now what will happen though is that you will get some light shadow that will be cast here. So that's why I'm darkening up a little bit inside here. Okay, possibly here, possibly on the inside here, like that. Okay, and now I'm gonna even in this lip here there would be a lot more shadow on this lip. So I'm gonna go in and actually lock that out like that. And underneath this lip, I'm gonna shadow up this as well. Okay. Now what's also interesting is, because he's got the cleft chin, that will be affected too. Okay, now he would have a shadow here, 
underneath the ear. You would actually have a shadow in the ear. And right now I'm just thinking where the light's going to hit and how it's hitting the different surfaces of his face. And because of the strong light, how everything else will be affected. Okay, you got it. So now I'm going to actually go to the Sharpie and I'm actually going to thicken up this outside line here. Like that, okay. Thicken out that outer line there. I'm going to thicken up a little bit this line out here. Remember I told you guys before, the outlines. Wherever there are edges, I'm going to thicken up those lines. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and then add a little bit for this hair. So again, I'm giving him some sort of like a, a crew cut kind of thing. So just I'm just starting off thickly, and then I'll, I will probably add, go in and add a little bit more detail. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing with the hair here. Okay, there you go. So I'm giving him more like a, a crew cut. Okay, so I'll add more detail there in a minute. But first of all, so we got to this point here. Now let me just blow on it. Make sure, make sure that the ink is dry. So if I go over this, ink's not going to smudge. Why? I'm going to grab my eraser here. I'm just going to start lightly getting rid of some of this blue line because it's too much. And it's affecting the way I'm seeing this drawing right now. So, get to the point where the structure, I know where it is in my head. So, again, I'm not going to go too deep into this because, because I do want to see a little bit of the lines, but enough that it's not so distracting to the actual drawing. Okay. So that's where we are right now. Now let me grab head and let's start detailing this guy up. I'm gonna grab the point one. I'm gonna grab the point one. And now I'm gonna start adding my type of details to this guy. So again, I'm going to go underneath here. This is what I forgot to do earlier. Just just a few lines, just to help jog the mind and say, okay, this is underneath the nose. This is the underneath the nose here. Okay, and now I'm going to add some speed lines under here, some hatching here, to help emphasize where that nose will be in shadow. Now, I'm going to go here and then add some hatching to the side here. And 
I'm actually going to add some hatching here inside the eye. Okay. Now I'm going to add some more hatching lines here. Like that. Okay. And I might actually add a little bit more lines here like this. Or that side there. Okay. Now. adding some detail in in this upper forehead area adding some extra hatching there around sometimes people would have like these sort of like wrinkles that go around here like this one or two so not too not too much you don't want to put too much wrinkles because like the more wrinkles you put, of course, the older they're gonna look. With guys, again, with guys, when you're drawing guys' faces, you could probably get away with more. More of those than usual. Sorry, I'm just gonna go in here and add a little bit more extra detail to the eyebrows here. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some more hatching here. So again, this is a style choice. You don't have to do this. This is a style choice, but you, all of you, uh, know my kind of style. It's very dark, rooting, David Fincher-esque style. So this is kind of what I like to do. I like that. Now, add some more hatching here and some hatching again why do I do hatching it's to emphasize light grid gradating gradation light gradation over a surface here so the lights going kind of around here like that okay now usually the upper lip usually the light never you know it's always on an angle here the light so Usually the upper lip is in shadow for the most part. Some more than others. There like that. And now let's uh, do some bottom lip detail. So this bottom lip not, might not necessarily be in shadow, but uh, a bottom lip has all these crevices. So I don't mind taking a few minutes and then just drawing in having the feel of those crevices in the bottom lip there. And right now, I'm gonna add some detail to this chin. Let's detail up this chin a little bit. So I'm adding just a little bit of cross hatching. Just make sure, if you guys are using cross hatching and hatch, you know, regular hatching, cross hatching. Make, just make sure you're consistent with your whole drawing. Okay, don't just have hatching one place, cross hatching in the other. Make sure it's it's all consistent. That the drawing feels unified. That if you're gonna have cross hatching in one place, that you'll also have cross hatching in another place. Just so it's consistency. And consistency, no matter what style you use, will help your drawing, for sure. So again, all that structure stuff that I did at the beginning, you could do no matter what style you work in. Okay. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to try to think how this will go here. So again, I'm just going to add some... Some hatching lines here, then hatching lines going down there like this, then hatching lines going like that. So we have that feel of boom, 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 like this. That very superhero esque, for sure. Very superhero esque. So 
So these lines not ne may not necessarily represent light, but what they represent is form and structure. Okay, so now I'm going behind the ear here to finish that up here. Now I'm going under here and adding some hatching here to help blend in these big thick um, sharpie markers marks here. This uh, nose is bothering me. I'm not very happy with the way this nose has turned out. Like it's not it's not bad, but Okay, so with that here like this. Okay, now I'm just cleaning up some of the lines here. Now, what uh, one thing I'm gonna need to do, I'm gonna go I need to go in here, and because I gave him like a, a crew cut type thing, I'm gonna go in here and start adding little details here, so it just doesn't look like a flat. I did this with a flat sharpie at the top. I'm trying to connect and add little, uh, little micro details to the thick details, and that helps. like strands of hair. Okay, strands of hair, let me just adjust the camera here like this. Just fix strands of hair like that. And now I'm going to add some lines here to represent the, you know, whenever you have a crew cut, you have this kind of stubble on the side. So I'm just going to go quickly, just add some lines here just to represent that kind of stubble, hair stubble on the side. Got to keep going. One second here. So right here, I'm trying to judge where the hair will stop and where the forehead will begin. So I think somewhere around here would be okay. So I'm just gonna draw. It's kind of like an outline, but I'm doing it in um, in hatching form, just so I, you know, I'm not gonna have a line here. I don't want a line there. I want this all to be done in hatching, so it feels like hair. There you go. There you go. I'm just gonna take a quick look in the camera here. Eh, it's okay. I'll, I'll admit to you guys, this isn't my best work. But I just want you guys to start thinking the way I'm thinking, or at least understand what I'm thinking. Like you guys, honestly, you guys can draw any way you want and think any way you want whenever you're drawing. That's up to you. Whatever makes you happy when you're drawing. But this is what I'm thinking of whenever I draw any, you know, any one of my posters. Or whenever I'm trying to draw celebrities and all that, this is exactly what I'm thinking. That's why when you actually see me draw a celebrity, I usually don't have one reference picture up. I have multiples. I have like five, six, seven, eight, and multiple angles because I want to have a feel for what the surface 
of the faces are. If you guys look at my um, my vlog channel, I have the, some behind the scenes of some of the uh, the pieces I did where I was trying to draw the actors and my my thought process behind them. And you'll see, I'll I'll have more than one picture up. Okay, so you know what, what I'm going to actually do now? I'm going to actually give him some. I want to give him some beard stubble. Again, this is one of those things where you guys don't have to do this, okay? You guys probably could have stopped drawing about uh, half an hour ago on this. But just for me, I'm, I'm just going to add a little bit of stubble to this guy here. So I'm going to go in, give him a little bit of a, maybe like a little bit of goatee little bit so I'm trying to understand because we did those structure lines I have a feeling of where this stubble for the most part will go so I'm gonna try to keep it very light actually so just just small dots here See, depending on the person I'm drawing this beard for, because um, I want I want this again to feel a little bit lighter. So that's why I'm actually spacing out a little bit more, or else I would concentrate it. And the closer I get to shadow, the longer my strokes become. There, as you can see. So I'm gonna go here. Oh, what the hey? I'll just, I'll just double up his whole face here. But as you can see, the way I'm stubbling, I'm going in the direction I feel the skin is going. So I'm just not stubbling for stubbling's sake. There's a method to the madness here. Okay. Just taking a look at the camera here. Now I'm gonna go back here. And again, as you can see my lines, I'm thinking of where the skin is going around. Always, always, always thinking in 3D. And it will always help your drawing immensely, guys. Immensely. Okay, so... You just... Add a couple more details here and then we'll call this a day because again this is just an exercise not necessarily a completed drawing but an exercise and help you guys uh, understand where I'm coming from whenever I'm doing something like this remember before I showed you guys I would add uh, like some lines that would go across just so to help the viewer understands these subtle lines here so I'm just gonna add a few of those here right now now looking at this this part here is probably too big but what can you do okay, so I'm just adding a little bit more details in the eyes here because I'm actually inclined to make the eyes black now. I'm totally inclined to make the eyes black. But, eh, I'll just leave it as is. What I'm doing now is I'm adding shadow underneath the eyebrow here. Okay, so we're almost done here. Just fix that up a couple more things here. And I know a lot of you are like, okay, that's enough, James. Mm. 
but we're almost there guys almost there okay so I'm just adding that here like that and what would one of my drawings be without my trademark spots even on human faces I find adding some spots so I'm just trying to fix and some spots here and there like this really help really help bring the drawing together okay then one more that and you know I told you guys before I want to make sure that the outlines that they are all connecting so I'm doing the same here just for skating purposes for skating purposes it makes it so much easier when we do it that way okay so there we go guys this is how I render I draw construct and render a human face is this my favorite most favorite drawing in the world no no <laughs> I see problems here maybe because I'm filming this a little bit late but uh, I think it's enough for you guys to understand where where I'm coming from whenever I am drawing whenever I am drawing a human face now again guys this is my method doesn't mean it has to be your method you do you do you you do what works for you this works for me I know this is how I feel whenever I'm drawing this is what I'm thinking whatever I'm drawing and for the most part it works for me and you guys do what works for you if you have some if there's some some parts of my methods that you feel would work well in your drawings by all means use them use them if you think that uh, this is too much for you or you think that this is too much thinking unnecessary thinking oh well, well to each his own go for it. no problem no problem I'm saying that this has worked for me you, you you gotta find at the end of the day what works for you and makes you happy can't stop working on this guy why can't I stop working on this guy stop me guys stop me stop me before I ruin it okay so let's uh, let's call this kind of done. <laughs> kind of done for now. It's one of those things where I can always work on something. I can always, always, always work on something. Maybe we'll give them some uh, sort of detail here, like that. Okay, but that is what I think about whenever I do a human head. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate it and for the past oh the past week has been it's been amazing for me uh, all the warm comments all of you new subscribers who are here and the old subscribers uh, have come out and told me how much you enjoyed so far uh, the stuff I've had on my channel so you know I want to do give you guys as much value as I can so that's why I'm starting this we'll call this basic you could call this basic this basic series so hopefully it helps you guys so if you have any questions uh, please do let me know uh, in the comments uh, down here below please hit that like button please uh, follow me on social media to uh, Twitter Instagram snapchat at box office artist please follow me on Facebook at the box office artist and uh, yeah this has been fun so uh, also let me know what other uh, tutorials you want me to see I think it's September I'm gonna do this whole series on perspective which is one of my fortes my forte and uh, you know to show you guys the different perspective I use and what I think about and how I incorporate them even when I'm drawing robots I think that would be a lot of fun and even in humans I use the same sort of principles so I think it's one of those things that everyone can benefit from and I just can't stop working I just can't stop I see, I go back and I see something I want to Add a little bit more here and a little bit more there, and I know I gotta stop. 
but let's stop. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe to my channel, share my videos if you think they are worth sharing, and I hope you learned something. Uh, any questions you have about this particular tutorial, uh, please do let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Um, and let me know what other tutorials you would like to see and I will see if I could get those going for you. Thank you so much everyone. My name is James. I'm the box office artist. Keep drawing and hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow.